So today is uh, Thursday, and if Wednesday is hump day, then Thursday is crunch day. Uh, we're working under heavy deadlines. Um, we've got lots of restaurant orders that I have yet to put on the board. I didn't get to seed microgreens for this week, and that's the growing part of our of our operation. So I need to get that on the on the table. So I'm gonna go over to the bench, get the microgreens, and then seed those. Then once the boys are up and Heather's out here, we'll finish the restaurant orders so we all have an idea of what we need to accomplish. <laughs> this is when <laughs> Tensions rise, there's a lot to do, there's a lot to accomplish. We're working under a deadline because restaurants need the produce that they've ordered and we, we want to deliver. High quality and awesome service. That's the name of the game. Here we go. Everything goes back to zero. Now we keep everything straight without falling apart. go so it's eight eight o'clock and uh like we were saying today's crunch day <laughs> <laughs> every thursday is crunch day so we got a new restaurant up in south haven the south haven yacht club so ralph's gonna take deliveries up there today but at fir first we gotta order the day and figure out what we're doing so i'm gonna go and get the boys Okay. Um, if you want to bleed the hose off of the warm water and then start filling both of the tanks okay. inside. Yeah. And then uh, we'll we'll uh, resume with our organized chaos. <laughs> it's a typical Thursday. <laughs> so we got all of our restaurant orders up on the board today. Um, it's not uh, going to be easy to fill all these orders because we're so far behind on our harvest, but we do what we can and we crank it out. So we've we've got probably about, I don't, it's anywhere from 15 to 20 restaurants on a regular basis. I think I've got at least 23 people on, on our fresh sheet. So they don't all, all order at once, but well, when they do and they all want the same thing, Woo wee, let's go. Anyway, so we're gonna get at it and make things happen. Okay, so the iceberg is done, the romains are done. I'm gonna take the romains back to the barn, come back for the icebergs, wash, pack, and then get on to harvesting cabbage or broccoli. All right, it's 9.30, and what I can do now, which is so satisfying, is I can cross romaine and iceberg off the list. So 
so uh, we're finished with the wash pack on arugula and our romaine lettuce and iceberg lettuce for our restaurant orders. A lot of that stuff will probably go to CSAs. There's a time and a purpose for everything. And right now there's a time and a purpose for this barn and wash pack to be a total disaster. It's gonna be a disaster until we're finished with harvest, till we pack our orders, till we get everything out the door. There's more stuff to do. Not only does Asher edit for our channel, love you buddy, but he's also the breakfast and lunch chef. Ryland's gonna have his breakfast and meet me out at the summer cabbage when he's done watering in the prop house. And then we're gonna rock this out and get some more stuff done. All right, let's go. These guys are ridiculously heavy. I don't want to wipe out. <laughs> can we do it? Oh, yes we can. Oh, mama. Next. So, Ryland's out on Frise. Yeah. Let's weigh our Salanovas, and then maybe you and I can get on something before we start this wash pack. Sure. <laughs> All you see is half my chin. I'll come closer then. great video. Alright, we're gonna do this then. Okay. There you go. Okay. Alright. Cut that asher. Cut around it. And I can see half your head. That's okay. Cut your bald head off. That's alright. Not that bald. Don't cut my bald head off. I still need it to... <laughs> to make decisions. <laughs> mm -hmm. 